All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's Kay. So this is the 1st of April 2022, and this is on Friday. So happy Friday to everyone. I hope you have a great day today. So um, let's check charts together with Ichimoku, and uh, we'll review some analysis. So let me change the screen right now. And as a quick disclaimer, as you as always, um, this uh, information is basically uh, for uh, educational purposes only. So when you take trades, please do at any risk. And also, since this is a live stream, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that would be great. And recently, there are many spams and scammers out there using my name, creating fake accounts, and send messages or uh, you know these uh, services so uh, please be careful I only do the Twitter uh, ForexK and ForexK under the notice I have two Twitter accounts and YouTube I have two this one and also my second channel and then uh, my web page and that's it all the others are fake so Telegram I have no Telegram I have no Instagram I have no Facebook and I never send any direct messages so please be careful. Okay, so let's see who's here first and start the topic right away. So let me see here. Yeah, thanks for joining everybody. Alex and Mahardika and Carbon Arnold and Suleiman Asif, Ismail and David, thank you for joining. Great to see you here. Uh, Fred and Oscar, James, thank you for joining. William and uh, Suresh. Thank you for joining. Great to see you also. And KOM, Rain, and uh, yeah, Kush, John Nguyen, and Agus Stewart, and Ivan, Mario, and Jung Ong, and everybody else. Thank you for joining. So yeah, as uh, some of you have mentioned, uh, there was NFP, non-farm payrolls in the US, which is actually one of the biggest news uh, that can potentially a big impact in the market but looks like it wasn't um, so let me switch to the news website first just to review what has happened so for those who are new to it uh, new to forex trading or any of these fundamentals um, this is the uh, the non-farm payrolls which happened over here at 12:30 uh, UTC and the previous was a 750k and consensus was 490k but actual was 431k which was much less than previous and much less than consensus but usd wasn't really sold because this was one market was expected after all so the impact was not really big and just now there was a um, ISM manufacturing PMI and the turnout was negative. Previous was 58.6 and consensus was 59 and this time it was 57.1. So in theory, when you see negative turnout but news, then this currency will be sold. So let me see. Um, so right now I move on to the currency strength chart to see which currency is strong and weak at the moment so here is currency strength chart and if you only look at the usd so this is the usd after nfp uh, and after ism manufacturing pmi the usd currency is bold right now it has been very strong so this currency is bold and the other currency that is weak today is jpy JPY is light blue, and that's here. So JPY has been bearish, and USD has been bullish today. So what's gonna happen on the currency pair USD JPY is that pair is bullish. So in that sense, let me first look at the USD JPY pair and see what's happening. I was actually planning to buy USD JPY today, but the, when I monitor the chart, uh, I didn't see any confirmations. So simply I stayed away but looks like it has been bullish so we can continuously look for the buy chance 
And but uh, quickly coming back to the news, we have no big news afterwards for today. So um, we can uh, be safe to trade by technical analysis only. So let me switch to the trading view and go down to USDJPY. And here is the daily time frame. You can see that the daily time frame, there are more buyers and sellers in the long to mid term because Kijun Sen is bullish and Senko Span A is bullish and Kumo is feeling thicker after the Kumo twist all the way back here. It has been bullish Kumo and it's gaining thickness. So that means the market is stably bullish in the long term and the mid term. And Chikou Span above the candles, that also means that the market is bullish. But today it's bullish. And actually, we can break it down to the lower time frame. So let me go down to the one hour chart. All right, so here, here is one hour chart by Ichimoku Kim Kohyo. And the market broke the Kumo bullish after um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross, and Chikou Span breakout. So the market is bullish now. So it looks like the market is heading towards the next resistance level, which is 123.29. Uh, sorry, 21. 123.219 is the potential initial target. So if you buy, then there's a room to trade about 20, 30 pips or so, which is not really much, but uh, it may break resistance and continuously go up. So uh, we can look for the buy chance on this one. However, um, just a quick note is that whenever you see Kijun Sen still within the Kumo, the market can be spiky. So in this case, I don't take the one hour chart to confirm, but instead I take the 30 minute chart to follow. And because in 30 minute chart, the Kumo looks thicker and longer. And Kijun Sen is still pointing bullish, which calls upon above candles. A 30 minute chart is looking good than one hour chart. So, yeah, so that's uh, the confirmation. But for the last one hour, the market is bearish. It's pulling back and it might be retracing back to the previous resistance level, which was 122.76, and then bounce on this previous resistance or Tenkan Sen, and then goes up is my view. So we can wait for the pushback and capture the buying edge when it happens. But if the market breaks the level and also the Tenkan Sen, then it may be bearish to Kijun Sen, so we don't want to look for the buy chance in him. So yeah, let's wait for the bounce and then um, start to look for the buy chance afterwards. Is my view. And uh, also, I can look at some other JPY pairs has been trending today. If you quickly see these numbers, green ones are, uh, you know, bullish and red ones are bearish. So simply speaking, Euro JPY is green, USD JPY is green, and Pound JPY is also green, and uh, AUD JPY is also green. And cat JPY is also green, and Swiss franc JPY is also green. So we have all these green numbers on JPY pairs. So we can tell that the JPY pairs are positive and it's bullish all over. So um, yeah, but uh, since this Friday, uh, the market volatility might be less towards the end of today, towards the end of New York session. So if you can't capture the buying edge, then no rush. We can always come back next Monday or Tuesday to trade. Monday, usually the market is quiet, but next week we have many big news, which I will be covering on Sunday forecast. But um, yeah, the market can be very quiet on Monday. So we can come back on Tuesday, perhaps. But um, yeah, so that's my view on the USDJPY. And let me just uh, mention uh, another uh, trending pair, another uh, volatile pair, which is AUD JPY. AUD has been strong today and JPY has been weak today. So 
let's now look at the AUD JPY. And actually, since these are JPY pairs, we can also take the uh, Tokyo Box breakout. If you can remember, a Tokyo Box breakout is uh, one of my favorite strategies to, to capture um, the, the buying edge or setting edge. So in case you're new to my YouTube channel, you can actually come to my website and uh, check the Tokyo Box breakout strategies. But um, so here is the Tokyo box. It's captured by yellow. And uh, the Tokyo resistance was 122.73 today. These yellow ones are Tokyo sessions every day. So Tokyo resistance was here, 122.7273 level. And it has been broken bullish. So most likely today will be bullish continuously, although it's retracing backwards right now. I expect the market will be bullish continuously. So with that in mind, I would also look at the uh, AUD JPY, which is the most volatile market for today. So here is AUD JPY. And AUD JPY also, you can see Kumo is bullish. And Kijun Sen is bullish, and the market is above Tenkan Sen. So this is nice. Um, USDJPY uh, was also above Tenkan Sen, but if you can kind of see the difference in between these two pairs, uh, AUDJPY uh, current market level is much higher than USDJPY. So if you can remember this. Uh, Candlestick to Tenkan Sen situation. Remember this, and I will switch to AUDJPY. And you see, AUDJPY is a bit higher to from this uh, this Tenkan Sen. There was a bounce on the Tenkan Sen, and now it's going up. So, yeah, AUDJPY looks also good to look for the buy chance. And then one hour chart. In one hour chart, uh, now Kumo flat and Kijun Sen is flat. So that means this is ranging. This is ranging in terms of buyers and sellers are in equilibrium. So it may be traced back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. Um, so we have to wait for Kumo bullish and Kijun Sen bullish to look for the buy. Which core span is good because it's above candles. That's okay. But we have to see these angles, Kumo and Kijun Sen bullish. So uh, let me look also uh, at the 30 minute chart. In the 30 minute chart, it looks better than one hour because in 30, the Kumo is bullish and Chiko, uh, sorry, uh, Kijun Sen is bullish and Chiko span above candles and market retracing backwards, but it may be supported by the Tenkan Sen and continuously go bullish this way. So, yeah, 30 minute chart looks good and also in terms of Tokyo box it also broke the Tokyo box resistance so today's Tokyo box resistance was 91.89 and it broke bullish now so looks like it's heading towards the next resistance which will be uh, 92.64 this is initial target but since it's retracing backwards right now, this is not a good time to buy. So that's AUDJPY. So uh, simply speaking, uh, I am a trend follower. So I use Ichimoku in terms of which one to trade, which one is trending, which one's ranging. And I only take the trending pairs to trade. So, um, so that's my impression. Let me also look at the CADJPY because according to the strength chart, CAD is the second strongest one, second strongest currency, and JPY is the weakest. So um, CADJPY in the sense is the second strongest. So let me check that one also and then come back to your comments. So here is the daily time frame. You can also see that the Kumo bullish and Kijun Sen is bullish. The market also supported by the Tenkan Sen, and now it's going up. 
And here is one hour chart. In one hour chart, similar to AUDJPY, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So the market is in equilibrium in terms of buyers and sellers are in 50 50 level. So it may be traced backwards. Um, in terms of Tokyo box, it also broke the Tokyo box bullish. Yeah, Tokyo box resistance was. 98.19 and it broke bullish so it may continuously be bullish in this way there was a previous resistance here in one hour twice of resistance so this time it may bounce and goes up in this way but uh, once again this is friday so um, the market might become quiet gradually so if that's the case then simply you can just walk away come back next week okay so with that said let me come back to your comments so once again thank you for joining everybody great to see you here on this live stream okay let's see KOM says uh hello K pound AUD still daily downtrending is it possible breakout resistance and keep dropping more okay so let me see pound AUD yeah, pound AUD, let me check in the daily time frame. So yeah, it has been bearish. And the market looks like market touched the resistance of this uh, descending trend line. But the Kumo is down. Kijun Sen is pointing down. And uh, Chikou span below candles. So yeah, there is a potentially market continues to go down this way next week. Yeah, that's possible. So the next support is 1.7395 and it can break bearish next week. So this is an ideal market that I always look for because Kumo thickness is very nice. If you see Kumo very thin, very thin, then it may reverse. But the Kumo thickness is very nice and healthy. And uh, Kijun Sen is pointing down. And Tenkan Sen is flat, but the market retreats back to Tenkan Sen, so it may be resisted and continuously go down. Chikou span all time below candles. This is also a nice confirmation for this bearish market. Yeah, and Alex also says I'm looking at the pound AUD also, but will not sell until breaks support. Yeah. We have to wait until the market breaks support, 1.7395 area. Yeah, thank you for joining everybody, great to see you. Aga says, uh, where is the direction for pound JPY? Up or down for the future? Pound JPY, let me... in terms of daily chart, uh, okay, let's see. Kumo shows it's uh, up, but Kijun Sen shows it's flat, so it may be worse backwards. And Pound is it's bullish right now, but this is a bit weaker than other currencies. So this is less volatile as compared to other JPY pairs. So um, yeah, today is bullish, but uh, Pound could be weaker gradually and it may continue to go down. Let me check the weekly time frame also. Yeah, on the weekly time frame, I just found that the Kumo is too thin, very thin Kumo, so it may reverse. Today's, uh, well, this week has been a very big doji candle. And most likely, it closes like this. So, uh, in theory, we have to wait for the doji break on the weekly, uh, which, is, which will be going to be a 164.59 level breakout to buy. On the weekly basis yeah so pound jpy still consolidating so yeah to be safer we can wait for the breakout of resistance all right yeah thank you for joining everybody once again great to see you as always here yeah thank you for joining yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, Eugene, Payson, Anis, thank you for joining. Also, TikTok. Yeah, everybody, great to see you. Thank you for joining. Looking forward to the GTS. Oh, well, yeah, that happens, that starts tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a new group. 
So uh, yeah, very excited to have a new group. Okay, so let's see. John Harris says, okay, just want to say thank you for always responding. You are the true leader and teacher. Can't wait to continue to learn and success with you. Sure, John Hera, you're welcome. Thank you for the message. Yes, it's been my pleasure to be able to do this on YouTube. Um, yeah. I never expected that I will be doing YouTube for a long time this much. I never expected when I first started because uh, it was only for my friends. I want to share my ideas and some psychology with my friends and that's how I started. But uh, after I posted the Ichimoku part 1 to 5 series, it became a boom. And also after I posted the video of BNF, a Japanese uh, trader BNF, and also CIS, it actually called the attention of the traders in the world. And uh, it started to, you know, uh, have more subscribers. So, but I never expected this much. And without your support, without your participations, I would never do this. So I really thank you for everybody for your continuous support. All right, yeah, let me check some other comments now. Alex says, daily single spam B isn't up in both UJ and ADJPY, so I don't trade, okay? Um, you don't have to wait for single spam B angle. Uh, as long as you see single spam A plus Kijun Sen, that's fine. But if you also see single spam B up, that will be an extra uh, confirmation or um, that shows bullish in the long term. So most likely you can keep holding the trade, you can keep trading profit in the long run. But um, yeah, single spam B doesn't have to angle when you look for the buying edge or selling edge. Uh, Ek Hargao says, how do you add the Tokyo Box breakout in TradingView? Oh, I use Sessions Indicator. I use Sessions Indicator and um, I only enable the Tokyo session like this. I only tick the Tokyo session and between 9 to 5, uh, JPY, sorry, JST, Japan time, uh, I enable Tokyo session and I, I highlight on yellow and that's it. So, yeah, whichever um, indicator you use, you can just capture Tokyo session between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in Tokyo time and you have the Tokyo box. And you can also do it uh, by MT4 or MT5, I think you can do it also. And even uh, Forex Tester, you can also use uh, iSessions indicator to have the Tokyo box. Yeah, it's very handy and uh, very effective. And make sure you only use this in JPY pairs. Uh, based on my back testing, it doesn't really work on any pairs, any other pairs, but JPY pairs work the best. And uh, so, yeah, I recommend you to use it only on the JPY pairs. Okay, Sham says all countries' trades uh, trades should done only in gold and silver. Yep. Personally, I don't trade gold right now because it's ranging. Let me go to gold. XAUUSD in the daily time frame, it's range. In terms of Ichimoku, let me show Ichimoku lines. Ichimoku Kinko Hyo says it's flat Kumo and Kijun Sen is up, but the market is in between Kijun Sen and Kumo, so this is range. And Chikou Span touching candles, and this is range also. So, in this kind of condition, simply I stay away. But I stay away because I am a day trader, day to, uh, you know, uh, swing trader, and I don't usually follow the weekly time frame. I usually follow the daily chart or the four hour chart trends, and I don't really follow the higher time frames, and that's why uh, I say it's better to stay away. But if you look at the weekly chart, it's bullish. The market has been supported by the Kijun Sen and it's too bullish. So uh, you can buy 
put the stop loss below Kijun Sen, below support, below 1896.08, and keep holding the buy because I think in the long term that will be bullish. But uh, yeah, for now, I prefer to stick to Forex because Forex pairs are more active, ups and downs every week on my watch list. Yep. So it depends on uh, your uh, trading style, depends on which time frame to follow. Then uh, your entries, your strategies should be changing. Okay, let's see. Let me check some other comments now. Sai says, hello, Kay, can you check the script for Talkbox breakout? Uh, Talkbox breakout, you can just have it on the sessions indicator. Simply search sessions and enable Tokyo session in 9 to 5, and you can have it. John Hare says, how about when Kijun Sen up, but Senko Span B flat? Uh, that's fine, as long as Senko Span A is bullish, that's fine. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Hide Mitsu says uh, to analyze the oil. If you can type in English, that would be great in the future because uh, you know other participants cannot read Japanese. But uh, he says check the WTI oil. So let me check that one. WTI has been retracing backwards now, uh, back to Kijun Sen as I mentioned previously. So it's bearish. At least it's not really bullish, is my view. It's not really bullish. So this is not a good time to buy. It may break Kijun Sen and come back to Kumo. So this is bearish. And in terms of the daily time frame, the market is in range, but it's a bit bearish. Uh, this is range. And the highs are lower and lows higher. And this is called a P wave. It's squeezing P wave. So it's safer to wait for the P wave breakout, which is also uh, the timing for this forecast lines breakout. So um, my view is the market be supported on the trend line and goes up and squeeze. At some point, the market breaks bullish, and then uh, you can look for the buy chance afterwards. Uh, yeah, in this. You know, in this uh, time cycles, 13 bars in between the highs. So next Henkabi will be 11th April. So if the market bounces on the trend line, then it may continuously go up until 11th April. And then see how it goes. But that will be for the short term. In the long term, weekly or monthly basis, still its range, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, let me check some other comments now. Um, Camilo says, uh, Hi, Kaysen. Look, long time didn't watch your live video. Can review USD CAD? All right, let's check. USD CAD. I don't think I checked that uh, today. Let so, USD CAD. This is resisted by the Tenkan Sen. So it's still bearish technically, but Kumo Kijun, Kumo Kijun Sen flat. So if the market breaks Tenkan Sen, then it could go up to Kijun Sen. So um, this is a bit tricky. Uh, to be safer, I would recommend to stay away. For the last uh, five days, uh, I actually this week, it has been ranging. So um, let's monitor and see if the market will be resisted by the Tenkan Sen. If so, next week will be downtrending and the market could break the support to sell. Support level is 1.249. Sorry, 2429. Sorry, the, the number is so small sometimes, so I can't read. But uh, yeah, 1.2429 is support, so it could break sometime next week. Unless it breaks in Kansen bullish. Jason says, uh, K, what are your thoughts on commo commodities? Commodities, overall, I think it's bullish. Overall, fundamentally speaking, it's bullish. It should be bought. But the now market is not really active. So, 
still it's time to stay away. I mean, um, time, stay, time to stay away because I think overall on the monthly or yearly basis is bullish, but on the daily chart, this is ranging. So in the ranging market, it may go up or it may go down and we can't tell which way it's going or it may be ranging. You know, there's only three ways in the market. It's either up or down or range and nothing else. But if the market breaks support, this double bottom and break Kumo, then it could continuously be bearish. And if there is any potential retracement like this still in the market, then I prefer to stay away because I will be having huge drawdown when it really happens. Or uh, I switch my mind to sell when it happens sometime next week. But for now, once again, we can't tell which way it's going. So simply stay away would be my advice. Okay. Oh, Fred, thank you for the comment. Thank you so much. Okay. Aranya says, is single span B 52 candles? You mean single span B, right? Single span B is, yes, 52 candles in my setting. I use all these default settings, 9, 26, 52, and 26. Yeah, you're welcome, Egg Hagao. Chiki says, I'm closing watching, close, closing watching AUD USD and USDJPY. Okay. Yeah, but this week, this is Friday, the market is almost closing in a few hours. So, yeah, I prefer to stay away right now. I prefer to stay away. Fred says, what do you think about supply and demand? A uh, supply and demand means this uh, this uh, horizontal line, like uh, resistance support levels. Yeah, it works. You should draw these uh, support resistance levels as you monitor the chart. Hergao says, uh, Kei-sensei, is it easy to control the price of Forex for 6.6 .6 trillion market. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not easy to control, for sure. And he continues, is it really easy to manipulate Bitcoin as long as wells are gang up to pump and dump? Is Forex easily manipulated? Uh, Forex, I think, is also manipulated, but uh, you know, uh, one single trader or one single firm cannot manipulate. So in that sense, Forex is less manipulated than the other markets. Even stock market, sometimes volume is really less as compared to Forex. So it's more easier to manipulate it, to be manipulated than Forex. Um, yeah, but uh, in terms of manipulation in the market, at first I was thinking about it and I was thinking these fake outs and fake candles and I was kind of trying to avoid these fakes but now I don't simply I think risk management is more important than uh, than overcoming these manipulations because uh, if you keep the risk management in discipline then uh, you can uh, actually overtake the manipulations so in the long run you can be profitable still so yeah I don't really care about that so far. All right. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Hide and uh, Anis. You're welcome here. And Sorosh, thank you for joining. Great to see you. Okay, so let me check uh, next one. Okay, I I get many comments. I get many comments. So, yeah, let me check. Uh, when you mean break, is it when the candle close above the line or just cross it? Uh, I mean breakout means candle close becomes above resistance, above the previous candle. That's a breakout. Unless it closes, it's not a breakout yet. So just be careful. Since like a, for example, like in the daily chart, like in this on this day, um, 
on this day, on the 29th of March, if you monitor the chart, and um, when you saw that the market about to break over here, let me go back here. For example, like this, you see the market breaks support in a five minute chart. So when you monitor the daily chart, you may think that this was a breakout. This one. You may think that the market is breaking, but afterwards it retraces backwards very fast and as a result becomes a pin bar. And the market takes off bullish afterwards. So yeah, you better wait for a clear break, means the candle close clearly becomes below the wick, below the candles. Yeah, let's see. Ale says, um, if you find a good signal in Tokyo session, do you jump into positions? And if you have signals at the end of New York session, do you jump into positions? Um, in the first question, yes. In the second question, no. Uh, in Tokyo session, in Asian session, if I see some trading edge, if I see some nice trends on the pairs, then I don't mind taking trades. And I monitor until I set the break even and simply walk away. And But after uh, at the end of New York session, uh, the market will close about maybe one hour or so. It closes. And when the New Zealand market opens, next day then the spread of the broker gets very wide you can actually try you try you you take a trade and by the end of the new session and keep holding you wait for the pause about one hour or two hours until next day new zealand opens and you see the spread it's amazingly wide it goes up to like five or even ten pips depending on the pair so I don't recommend to trade it right before the New York close. But in Asian session, since the volume is very less, uh, the spread tends to be tends to be small in Asian session. So yeah, one time I was w waiting for the New Zealand open. I was in Japan back then, and I was I woke up at like 3 a.m. in Japan time. And or 4 a.m. Japan time, and watch monitored the the uh, the New Zealand Open because I knew that there will be a gap in between Friday and Monday because there was a big news on on the weekend, and I was thinking to buy right after the market opens, and then the market takes off bullish, and then I thought I can make more profits, big profits in the morning. So that I can have a you know happy day on that day. With that mind, I woke up and monitor the chart. But the thing was that the uh, the spread gets very wide, and even if I press buy button many times at the New Zealand open, I couldn't execute uh, because of the high volume in the market and high spread. Finally, I was able to execute like one hour or two hours later after the market opens. So I thought it's not worth it's not worth it to trade uh, right after. So ever since I never uh, check charts in the New Zealand open market. So uh, yeah, I think uh, it's, uh, it's uh, very interesting. So if you haven't seen that, you can wake up or you can stay awake and monitor the New Zealand Open, especially Monday, New Zealand Open, uh, the market becomes so spiky and uh, spread gets insane. Yeah, 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 let me see. KOM says, uh, very nice, K. Your short term prediction for Bitcoin was correct. Bitcoin up to 48K resistance, then retracement supply. Okay, yeah. I was uh, talking about the ascending P wave breakout and then retrace. So I know there are a few crypto traders. So let me also talk about the Bitcoin for your reference. So here is the daily time frame. 
and the market broke the ascending P wave bullish and now it's retracing back to the previous resistance. So um yeah. so previous resistances were here around 45 104 and it looks like the market is supported and goes up this way. But once again here you have to wait for the close also. And for this market to close it takes another 9 hours and 19 minutes. So without waiting for the close we will never know if this becomes a pin bar or not. But if you take, if this becomes a pin bar at the close then the traders will watch this and there might be some buyers coming into the market and that will make the market push up in this way. But if the close becomes below the resistance like this let's say bearish candlestick and then when the market sees this uh, then uh, there might be some sellers coming in next day and it might reverse back to Kijun Sen in the daily chart. So this is also where you have to wait for the candle close becomes very important. Yeah, let's see. Link Y says, Hi K, if the price on the daily time frame is in the Kumo, but for our chart time frame is showing a strong trend and far from Kumo, uh, would you look at lower time frames or wait for the price to exit Kumo? Um, if our chart is showing a strong trend above Kumo, above Kijun Sen and Kumo turning bullish, then I take the forward chart to follow, but not the daily chart. Yeah, because I take either daily or four to trade. Yeah, 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 let's see. Ig Hargao says, that's why I love to trade Forex so much. Uh, Kensei says, thank you so much. Oh, that's good to hear, good to hear. Yeah, forex is very interesting or any any you know markets are so interesting because if you think about it these all these candles one single candles every candlestick is basically the sentiment and psychology of the traders of course there might be some fundamentals involved in recently some ai trading or robots involved but most likely even so these are the psychology of the sentiment of the traders so you know, whenever I see the breakout like this, let's say on this bullish candlestick, what I think is that these sitters, these sitters who put the stop losses are crying. Because this breakout, this big bullish candle was not caused by the new buyers, but this was caused by the stop loss was hunted of the sitters. So that's why I can hear kind of scream and crying of the sellers who are holding ever since uh, February or March. So, and afterwards, the market went up, but uh, they turned to be buyers. The buyers come in, but afterwards, the market retraces. So now, buyers after this big bullish candle are crying. So, if you can um, think about the other side on the traders, then uh, you can have more wisdom about the markets and see what's really happening and what it means by these resistance levels and support levels and the trend lines. Yeah, even one single candlestick has lots of information, like uh, open and close price, high and low, and consecutive candles can have like engulfing patterns, inside bars, outside bars. And doji candle means the market is ranging on that specific time. Let's say in the day chart, if you see doji candle, that means on that day, it was a range. If you see doji in 5, then in 5 minute chart, it was a range. You can see that in different time frames. So yeah, these are very interesting to see. Yeah, thank you for joining everybody. Fred says, do you think 
being in Forex for a long time is good investment? Um, no, I don't think so. Long term hold, right? If you want to hold long time Forex, I don't recommend because Forex uh, is, after all, uh, the strength of two currencies. And there is no strong currency forever, and there is no weak currency forever. Uh, especially if you look at the, these uh, uh, major pairs in Forex. Of course, there's a major like Euro, USD Pound, AUDJPY, and CAD also. Um, you know, these major and minor pairs, um, because these, these are the you know, individual currency strengths among different countries, um, let's say like Euro continuously strong, and JPY continuously weak for like a couple of years. It never happens. At some point, the power balance changes for many reasons. So yeah, Forex pairs are not really good to invest in long term. But uh, when you're talking about the like uh, exotic pairs, like uh, Chinese Yuan or like, uh, you know, these uh, exotic pairs, then uh, the trend lasts longer. But uh, even so, it may reverse backwards very soon, or it may be choppy, or the spread will be very wide in the broker for the exotics. So, yeah, I don't recommend to hold uh, long time Forex. Forex is basically uh, for the weekly or daily uh, trends to follow, or even intraday trade will be good but uh, not for the long term. And that's why in my strategy, I only use daily or four to follow in the Forex pairs. And I hardly follow the weekly trends. In the monthly trends, there is none in Forex. So yeah, Forex is for the short term in that sense compared to stocks or index or commodities. But uh, Good thing about the Forex pairs is that you can earn profits by buying it and also you can earn profits by selling. You can trade both ways. And both ways, the market is volatile every week, every month, so you can have both opportunities. For example, in stock markets or index, the market tends to go up in the long, long run, but uh, this bearishness doesn't last that long. Maybe it lasts in a very short period and then the market is at the range for a long time and then it goes up or down so the result of up and down i mean the the volatility uh, of the day and week and month are completely different in forex so you have to use different strategy in forex different strategy different mindset in forex Okay, yeah, so let me check some other comments until the end of the live today. Firefly Medium says, Hi K, only found you in the last few months. Would like to thank you for introducing me to Ichimoku. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, Ichimoku has been my favorite and it has been my, uh, it has been my rules and discipline. Yeah. Yeah, I used to use Ichimoku when I was a newbie, but uh, I didn't use it a uh, long time because I thought it's complicated and I was treating Ichimoku as other indicators and there was no success. I was changing parameters and changing the settings of Ichimoku displacement and there was no success. So, uh, yeah, but I'm glad that you found me and uh, be able to learn about the Ichimoku from my YouTube lives and videos. Yeah, it's been my pleasure. Let's see. Let me check a few other comments. Um, Zero Fadi says, uh, could we use Hekin Ashi together with Ichimoku at the same time? Uh, yes, you can. You can use Hekin Ashi or even Renko Ashi with the Ichimoku Kingo Hyo. 
but uh, I prefer candlesticks because candlesticks high and low are uh, affected in Ichimoku. In Heikin Ashi, you can't see high and low on that day on the candlesticks, but uh, in candlesticks, you can clearly. So I prefer candlesticks. And also, uh, you can you cannot cap time cycles in Heikin Ashi, but in candlesticks, you can. So that's why I prefer candlesticks. Heikin Ashi is usually used uh, to trade a stock market or index in Japan where there are many gaps in between the candles. But even so, um, people still recommend to use candlesticks than Heikin Ashi. Fred says, Hello K, how about Doji coin? Uh, Doji coin, I'm not really sure because I don't trade cryptos. But um, let me see, I can have a look. I think it's this one, right? Doji USD. Daily within the Kumo, so it's range period. It's not trending right now. Kumo is just twisted bullish, but um, this is ranging. It could go down still. Let me check the weekly. In the weekly chart, still it's below Kijun Sen, Chikou Span below candles. So it's bearish on the weekly basis. So this is not a good timing to buy. It might continuously be bearish by Ichimoku here. Okay, General Harris says NZD USD showing bearish on the Huawei chart, Wanda chart, but they looking bullish. Uh, yeah, you can follow Huawei chart in that case. Just ignore the daily chart, follow the Huawei chart, one hour chart to sell. Augustine says, uh, what do you mean by inside and outside engulfing breakout? So, so for example, this one, um, I can maybe show it here. Uh, this is a big bullish candle, high and low, including the wick. The high was here, and the low was here on this bullish candle. And the next candlestick has been including the previous high and low. So this is engulfing, this is called the inside bar. And the next candlestick over here on this bearish candle broke the inside bearish. This is engulfing breakout bearish. Outside is opposite. Outside, you see small candles, and on the next candlestick uh, includes the previous few candles, and you trade towards the breakout direction afterwards. That's outside engulfing breakout. So it's actually from my favorite candle pattern. So uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, Markets are not really active today, as per Ichimoku, it's not really trending, so I guess I will just stay away and come back Monday. But uh, sometimes I take day off on Monday, if that's the case, then I will just come back on Tuesday and see what's happening. But uh, once again, there will be many big news next week, because the first week of the month, so uh, yeah, just be careful. I will cover all the news on the Sunday's uh, forecast. So if you can join, that will be great. So, uh, but tomorrow I do another live stream. So I will see you tomorrow if your time permits. And uh, have a great rest of a Friday and great weekend. So uh, until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you so much.